All right. OJ the Juice Man freestyle. Who remembers this? OJ the Juice Man. He was on the 2010 uh, XXL Freshman of the Year freestyle things. And this was like one of his freestyle promotional videos. See, it rings on like a basketball player. Freshman of the year like a basketball player. What it do, good man, I'm here to stay. Oh, man, good man, we in your face. Hey. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was like his way of showing his uh, freestyle capabilities. I don't remember if there was more to it. I don't even remember if this guy was even a good rapper. I'm, I don't remember. But who was all on that lineup? 2010. Yeah. Let me see. Oh shoot! I do remember this lineup. This was a great lineup. This was a great lineup, actually. Wiz Khalifa and J Cole were on this, and J Rock and Freddie Gibbs. Team me like a basketball. Ring on me like a basketball player. Team me like a basketball player. Wiz Khalifa's. Okay, I forgot. They only had like 39 seconds. Or not 39 seconds. They only had like a minute to make something. And that was like all of their promotional ones. I want to see... I want you to see Wiz Khalifa's. I think everybody else, like, did pretty decent. We'll go to Jay Cole's after this, too. But this wasn't a bad uh, freshman, XXL freshman at all, I don't think, from what I can remember when I was really listening to rap. Was This is Wiz Khalifa's. Um, smoking on some strong... Got bitches who smoke bombs, papers, and bowls, so pretty much anything goes. Come and kick it with blow some of this chronic smoke. Go to schools to cop shit even when they say they close. These Louis, I suppose. And right now I'm high, my eyes so freaking low, I might as well keep them closed. You fucking with winners, pushing orange juice with my eggs, flicking my ashes on dinner, nigga. Okay. Though. That was, in my opinion, pretty weak. It wasn't as bad as the uh, as the OJ the Juice Man one. Personally, I it was just a different time for rap at that point. Though it was only ten years ago, it was just a different time. I don't know. Big Sean was on this too. Let's see J Cole's. And see, J. Cole probably crushed it. J. Cole is still good. J. Cole is still relevant. Definitely better than OJ the Juice Man. 150% better. Now, J. Cole's. Dream like you never seen obstacle. Chasing obscene profits so we ain't stopping for the red lights. Look in my rear view, all I see is niggas' headlights. Catch me if you can, ho. They try and set me and I'll scramble. Look up in the sky, you'll see exactly where I am, bo. Hey, don't you see me, man? Making my wishes come true with no genie, man. I got the keys to my beamer with no beanie, man. I'm on these rich niggas' ass, no bikini, man. A little corny, I guess, maybe. No, no, it was pretty good. I mean, it was... 100% better than both of Wiz Khalifa's and OJ the Juice Man's. Wiz Khalifa's wasn't like, I think that was just like Wiz's style for a while. But J. Cole is fucking great. Still. Bald J. Cole, yeah, I know. Now he's got long dreads that are sick, dude. There's like, I don't know if you've seen this. I know I'm sure Trevor has, or like at least heard about it, but there's like this beef going on between, uh, like J. Cole and Drake are like buddies now, I guess. And there's this beef going on between Kendrick versus J. Cole and Drake. 
it's absurd. It was something to do with like J. Cole said that who's in the top three, Drake, or he called he said me, K dot, and Aubrey, which is Drake. And then Kendrick responded back, was like, there's no top three, the only top three is me or something like that. I'm butchering it hard, but so now there's more rap beef that's probably fake, but I think it's probably just to promote two albums that are probably going to come out from Drake and J. Cole this summer. But it's a little ironic because I just feel like all three of those guys don't need to promote anything. They could just drop an album and they're, and millions and millions of people are going to watch it. Or, sorry, not watch it. Listen to it. All right, now this is Big Sean's. Town West Side, yeah, I said it, West Side. But they yelling big so much that you would thought is best style. You were now rocking with the newest, newest, best style. Go on, roll that good up. Cause I'm stressed out. I come from a city where 9 11 dialed up. Everybody riled up. 100 gun piled up. They'll lay it on the line. Line, make sure you don't get fouled up. Hammers in the night of court. Boy, don't get trialed up. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Again, we're listening to rappers from 2010. So. The rap style wasn't like, it was just different than it is now. Excluding the mumble rap type, like trope, not type, the mumble rap trope. That was a pretty good um, XXL freshman though. That was such an interesting time, man. Agreed to the max, Trevor. Wiz had every high school on lock, yes. Everybody. Everybody that was everybody was listening to Wiz Khalifa in 2010. Well, it was like 2000, yeah, 2010 to 2014. Everybody was listening to Wiz Khalifa. Rap, it, rap then was. It was the last of good rap. Well, the best one of uh, XXL freshman of the year was J. Cole, probably, realistically. But I think Wiz Khalifa won. <laughs> but that was uh, that was a good topic of conversation. 